So today, I'm going to show you how to install the mod that will turn Far Cry 6 into a virtual reality game. Isn't that brilliant? And it's Luke, Luke Ross's mod, so yes, unfortunately, it is behind a paywall, but it's $10. It's, it's $10, it's not a lot of money. And it's a lot of games, I think. I don't know how many is it. 13, 14 maybe? Anyway, I'll leave a list of all the games that it converts into VR. This It's just one mod. Anyway, so I'll show you how to set this up. First of all, install the game. I bought it from Unisoft, right? Because it's on sale or it was cheaper. I can't remember which it was, but certainly that's where I bought it from. And it's slightly different, the ins inst installation of the game, as it would be if you bought it from Steam. And I'll show you the difference. We'll close this down. We'll also close that down. So, first of all, get the mod, install the game, and I put it on my D drive, so it's going to be slightly different again. But, find where it's installed. Now, usually it's under Unisoft, and then Games Launcher, and then it'll be another folder, and it's Games. So, that's what you're looking for. Unisoft, Unisoft Games Launcher, and then Games. I might be wrong about that, but certainly... If it's on the default uh, hard drive, then that's what it would probably be. And then you find the Far Cry folder there. And there's two bin files. If you bought it from Steam, put it in this one. If you bought it from Unisoft, put it in this folder. Not files, folders, sorry. Yeah. So there's this bin folder. I've already installed it, as you can see. Just drag this down. There it is. And all you do is just drag that over here and drop it there. And it'll appear here. Right click on it and select extract here and that's what it will do and then once it's extracted the files double click on this and it will do it all for you it's dead easy it will do all the settings for you all you have to do is agree to it just say yes and just do what the prompts ask you to do it takes a couple of seconds that's all most of you will know this once you've done that that's the easy bit the hard bit is once you start the game because unfortunately it will look like shit and at the end of this video, I'll show you also how to fix the problem with the cutscenes, because the cutscenes also look like shit, because, well, they're limited to 30 frames per second. There's a, there's a file you can download, I'll show you. I'll leave the links. These are the two things you'll need, which is the mod installer and, the, and this for the cutscenes. It's a, what is it now? Oh, it's an A2 file, that's what it is. Very easy to do this if you know how, and I'll show you how at the end of this video. But right now, let's get into the game, and I'll show you how to set up the graphics in the game, because you'll need to know this. So, click on play, and wait for it to install. Now, the first time you install it, it will take a little bit of time. Uh, it's got to do this here, warm up. Oh, check, that's very quick. For you, it'll be a little bit slower than that. I'm running this on a 3060, so I've got all my settings in this game for this video on low, except for the water setting. I'm going to experiment later on, but that's up to you whether you experiment, but I suggest you put them in, on low as well. Do, 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 do. That's very nice, isn't it? Oh, the skip. Oh, this will happen. And the first time you run the game, this window will pop up, but it won't look like that. It'll be really big, much bigger than this. And what you need to do, let's go in very close, is close it down and then make it pop back up again. Can you see me moving that there? So you need to move down to this, which is target pixels per degree. And you want to use, uh, you want to click on that and move it so it's between 15 and 25. I think it'll be on about four or seven. And that's why it looks shit. So 15 or 25, move down to here and click on adapt resolution. And this will happen, that little pop-up. Can you see it in purple? That means you've got to close that down by pressing both thumbsticks and go in to your options and then go into gameplay. At the moment, I've not, no, not gameplay, 
video, sorry. I've noticed at the moment that every time I start the game, I've just got to pop in here and make sure everything's okay. I'd do the same about you. Now, go to this and change that to borderless. It'll be on uh, full screen. Change it to borderless. And then go down here and choose the resolution that you've selected. I've selected this one, so that's the one it's set on at the moment. Then accept the changes and start the game. I'm going to continue from where I left off. And I'll just show you what it looks like. Because it looks impressive. Now, if you go into it and it looks shit, you see that how the gun's shaking? I bur you'll, you'll notice that a lot in the video, but I barely notice it. And once the game's got warmed up, uh, it starts to settle down. It's, it's head shake. I've got it on pretty low, but I wish I could turn it off completely. Let's run over. Oh, look, what's that? Oh, shit. I feel really bad now. Anyway, let's get in this vehicle. Look, it looks pretty good, considering I've got all my settings down low. Do not kill civili uh, civilians. Why? I like killing civilians. Right, let's get in the car. The music. This is really good. So there's a few bugs, but uh, Luke's uh, updated the mod three times, or is it about like three times already? And there's lots of advice. And you can always ask me for advice. I'll, if I've got the time, I will reply to you. Or if I, if I actually get the notification, I don't always get the notification that someone's commenting. Oh shit! Look at this! Isn't this brilliant? Just driving around. Whoa, shit, sorry about that. Okay. Oh, I'll just drive back. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think the tyres are down. Let's get out, Michael. Let's kill people. Let's... Oh, shit. Okay, I know about all that. I'm going to die. That's going to blow up in a minute. Oh shit. I'll keep on playing till I die. We have a really bad shot. I must have this on difficulty on uh, on really difficult. What's that there? Is that uh, an exploded kit back? No. I went hurry up, kill me. Who's shooting at me now? Where am I? Oh. Yeah, I deserve to die. Oh, there you are. Come on, kill me. Finish me off. Anyway, let's show you how to fix that, those cutscenes. Get away from this, where are they? I'm running away. Run away. Run away. Look how beautiful that looks. And the water looks pretty good as well. And you can go crab shooting if you want. That's what I was doing earlier on. Look, isn't this brilliant? This is fantastic. Anyway, let's come out of that. Let me quickly show you how to install the Far Cry mod installer and fix the problem that they have with the cutscenes and it's very easy let me just get my mouse let's close this down so I'll leave the uh, links for all this shit in in the description so what you need to do is download this and this and when you extract this, you'll get this, just one file, an A2 file. And you'll get this mod installer uh, folder. Open the folder, scroll down to uh, this, Far Cry 6 modded files. Open it, 
and drop that A2 file that I've just shown you in here. I've already put it there. Just put it there. Okay. Then, scroll down until you find the Far Cry 6 mod installer, which is there. Right click on it and select run as administrator. I'll just lift my headset up. Select yes. And there. It does all this shit. And that's all you have to do. It might... Oh, has it done it? Oh, it's installed anyway. What you have to do... Is you'll get that. That will appear. Just click on that. So there's a little tick in the box. I thought it would finish then for a minute. And then go down here to install and click on install. That's it. Now it starts to install. Now it might take a couple of uh, moments, a few moments, but that is basically it. All done. There, so just click on OK. Close this. What a piece of piss. And that's it. Enjoy, because it is very enjoyable. It's a great game. Anyway, time to go. Not the best game about all the Far Cry series, but still a good game. Anyway, I'm going now. Bye.